Hello, everybody, and welcome to this webinar about building courses in Electood. My name is Tim van Skarlenberg, and I'm your presenter for today. I used to teach automotive uh, on high schools and at trade schools in the Netherlands. Uh, after that, I went to uh, Montana area, where I also set up courses in automotive. Um, now I work here in uh, upstate New York for uh, Electood as the customer training and support specialist. And I, I'm, I used to teach already like uh, 10 years ago with I like to. All right. So if you need any support after this webinar is over, feel free to reach out to us at support usa at I like to.com. And I'll point out where you can also find more support during the webinar. All right. What are the topics for today? So I'm going to show you how to copy and rearrange a predefined course. I'm going to show you how to create and build a self-made course. I'm going to show you how to optimize the use of course logs. I'm going to show you how to introduce the do-it-yourself tool. Um, so it's, um, it's more an introduction into that tool and what you can do with it. And uh, yeah, it's a really helpful tool to create your own lesson modules in Electit as well. All right, um, so I'm going to switch uh, my screen to my own account. So it's like a demo account we have in Electit. If you want to switch uh, to your own screen, you can do that as well. So if you want to log into your own school screen and, and track along with our webinar. So personally, I really like to have one screen where I have the webinar at, where I'm looking at another screen where I'm like practicing from. Uh, this really helps me personally. So. Uh, that's up to you. You can also use a split screen uh, feature um, that also works really well. All right, let's log in here into the teacher account. So honestly, this is, uh, for me, this is actually a really fun webinar. Uh, building your own courses as a teacher is uh, a really nice tool to have. Um, designing your own courses for your student and like, um, yeah, you can like custom build uh, to your needs of your student. And I personally really like it. Um, and I think uh, that would be also really helpful for you as a teacher. First, I want to start here, uh, clicking on the courses tab here on the top of your screen. And we have two ways that we can build courses in Electric. One way is uh, we can uh, copy an existing course. So, the huge benefit of that is like you don't have to start from scratch as a teacher. Um, you can use one of our existing courses in our system and copy it and like reorganize it. So you basically have the whole structure already in there and you can take out lessons and you can put in lessons in there. So uh, huge benefit there. The other way of doing it is like if you already know a lot about elected products, you know like the lesson modules you want to show to your students or you already have like a, a blueprint for your school or something you have to um, yeah, follow as a teacher. Then the self-made, um, yeah, from scratch, like building a course from scratch might be the right choice for you. All right, so um, first I'm gonna show you how to copy a course and how to modify that course. You can do that, probably you will have the Automotive Essentials product. And if you're here in the States, you can also have the product, the AST and MEST and MLR. MLR is for high school students and AST and MEST, the master course is for, uh, yeah, that's more for the college level. Let's look in here in the MLR for now. And for today, the course I want to copy is the MLR engine repair. So let's click on this sub course. So the main course is called Maintenance and Light Repair 2017 Standard Edition. Doesn't mean that we don't update it anymore, but this is like approved with the ASE in 2017. Um, so we are still like updating it all the time. So you will see actually a new lessons every month almost in those courses. So let's see here. Here we have MLR Engine Repair. You see it consists out of 120 modules with a total duration of 33 hours and 33 minutes. So let's click on there. And then to copy the course, we have a really easy um, symbol here for copying course. That's this double folder one. It's the copy course that's next to the heart. 
part is of course nothing really cool automotive but this means like you can also put it in your favorites if you want to so here on the left bottom you have your favorites but for today we will copy the course so we'll click here on the copy course are you sure you want to copy this course yes sometimes you have to wait a little bit the bigger the course is the longer it takes to copy so that might be good to know now here on the left side of your screen you see suddenly we went from the MLR folder to the self-made folder. So the course is automatically copied from the MLR folder to the self-made. When I click here on the self-made, you see here also the copy of MLR engine repair. Let's click on this course to get into the course where we can modify things. First thing I want to modify here is the name. Um, copy doesn't sound really nice for your students. I mean, almost looks like you stole somewhere something let's edit this course here i can just I can just really easy rename it and also put a description here if you would like to maybe the objectives from the course or just welcome students you can choose also a level if you want to um, let's say this is for high school students so i'll make it basics and say okay you don't have to fill out the level this is up to you as a teacher if you want to change the name afterwards you want to use the pencil and the axis for deleting the whole course all right so let's uh, get some changes here in the course um one of the changes what i want to show you is like um, let's say you don't, don't want the test sheets in your course, you already have great test sheets for your lab or shop and you don't need them, you can also really easy delete those sub-courses. So when I check here in front of the, the sub-course, the general task, like I check this box here, means I select it, you may, I can select them and I can delete them with this X here on the top. Choose delete. And you see we deleted some sub courses in there here. All right, let's go a little bit deeper in, into this here. So let's go in general engine mechanical theory. And you see we have here a long list of uh, lesson modules and quiz modules. And let's say you don't have as much time as you wish as a teacher. That of course happens never, but in case of and you want to like uh, condense the course a little bit you can choose to erase some things in here the same way you can like use the checkbox say you don't want the two-stroke piston engine because that's only for low mowers and leaf blowers right um maybe you want to uh, delete the plastic gauge because we don't use that, that often anymore and the harmonic vibration damper all right you see here also all the time it takes those lessons so you basically like cancel out um yeah some hours in this whole course let's use the x here are you sure you want to delete modules from this course and then delete all right you don't have to be afraid that you erased um those lesson modules out of our system they will be still you can still find them under the mr course so it's not that you throw that off um, if you would work on somebody else's self-made course, then you can actually erase. So you want to be careful when you work on somebody on the uh, yeah on the colleague's course, for example, that you don't uh, change too much or erase too much from your colleague's work. So that might be a good thing uh, to keep in mind because you can actually see the courses your colleagues um, designed under the self-made tab as well. All right. The other benefit we have here on the self-made course that I can change the lead follow here. So let's say I find it more important that the student knows the engine block types before we go to the explanation of piston engine types. I can actually move that up and down if you want to. So you just click on it with your left mouse click and you drag it up and then just drop it. That's how you change the lead follow. Let's say you want already under engine mechanical theory, you want to go through 
the yeah through an old change already we can do that uh, to do that you want to first select the right course so in this case it's mlr general engine mechanical theory you see it also under the course name here so that folder is now open and you can actually write now lesson modules to that folder so if i click here on the lesson modules for example search for old change I can now, you see here I have a list and I can even like organize it by level. And now I can like drag the lesson over. So it's left mouse click, you hold your mouse and then you drag it over to the top to the course folder. You see it turns from no, the no sign disappears when I'm over the course folder, uh, the course tab here. So it's just simple drag and drop it. All right, and when I click now on the courses tab here, see here on the bottom, you have the changing oil and changing oil quiz. If I want to move that up, I can do that as well by using, there we go. So automatically those uh, lesson modules will um, yeah, be on the bottom of the list when you drag and drop them over. So I just like uh, change the lead form. Let's say we want to change the name here as well. Okay, for example, erase the MLR. There we go. Quick tip here, if you want to um, navigate one layer back, um, a lot of people will use the go back button. This could also bring you back to the modules tab because that was the last thing we left. You can also use our breadcrumbs. So in the software world, those great uh, areas here, the tabs here are called breadcrumbs and that helps you to navigate one uh, layer back. So you see it, for example, in the self-made folder here on the left, but then the folder doesn't open anymore because I have so many other folders here. So if I click here on Elected Academy Engine Repair, I can go one layer back here. All right. So, yeah, this is basically how you copy a course. Um, we also like, you can see now we um, made it a little bit smaller, the course. I think we went from 33 hours to 31 hours. Um, so it, that's a really helpful tool to, um, yeah, to modify it to your own needs here as a teacher. All right, so um, again, really quick, how do you copy a course? Go to your course tab, click on there, select the course you want to copy. You could also use uh, courses from Automotive Essentials. Choose the course you want to copy and use this copy sign here. And you can find it back, the copied course here under the self-made tab. Pretty easy when you're used to it. So um, yeah, and I personally, I still really like it to um, reorganize the courses because of course, uh, like we offer something in Elected uh, and this is for all teachers um, nationwide. So for you, maybe yeah, your school will look different than all the other schools. So really helpful if you can copy a course and uh, modify it a little bit. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build a course from scratch. To do this, you click again on the course tab here, click on self-made. I was already there, but uh, just for uh, the webinar's pur purpose, right? And then you click here under the courses, you see the plus. The plus means you can add something. So let's click on plus. And for today, I want to uh, create, uh, for an example, uh, hydraulic brake systems. All right, I can also choose a level here. So I will do basics for now for high school. Say add, and there we go. Electric Academy Hydraulic Brake Systems. So you see I have zero modules under here, so I want to change that a little bit. But first I actually want to build some sub-courses under there. 
why do we want subcourses under there? This has uh, to do later on when we assign it to the students. If we have subcourses under there, we can actually um, lock or unlock them, those courses for the students in a timely manner. So when you assign it to the students, you can only lock or unlock the subcourses. So when I go back here in Elected Academy Engine Repair, you see like all the theory lessons we have here. So all those courses under the Elected Academy Engine Repair, you see those courses here, those are the sub courses. Now going back to the self-made map a folder, and then I'm going to the hydraulic brake systems. You see, we don't have any sub courses under here. So let's start with that. So I can click on the plus, it says new course. Yep, that's what we want. Let's do the first one, disc brakes or brake rotors. At and the second one, hydraulic systems. At and then maybe one with drum brakes. Fortunately, they still exist, right? And at all right. So you see now our elected academy hydraulic brake systems contains now of three subfolders and again we're designing those three subfolders because later on we can lock them or unlock them uh, when we assign them to the students groups. All right, so let's click here on drum brakes to open up that folder. So when I click on here, you should look here at the under the course tab, click on there, it will show you that you open that folder and now I can go to the modules to populate this uh, course. I can also look um, for modules. I can use the search uh, feature. I can also use here on the left side the, the default uh, feature we have. So it's all like uh, organized by um, yeah subject. So let's go to chassis and to brakes. You see here I have a whole list of brakes and select the level here. Let's see how we can find some drum brake. I think the parking brakes contain some drum brake exercises. You can drag it over. Remember the left mouse click, hold it, drag it over to the course tab. Let's see here we have more with the D of drum brakes. All right, so let's go back to our course tab now so by clicking on it. You see, I have now six different lesson modules in here. All right, so let's go one layer back using our breadcrumbs here on the top. And I actually see that here as well. So I'm in the folder Elected Academy Hydraulic Brake Systems. You see the drum brakes has six. Lesson modules in there with a total duration of two hours and 13 minutes. Let's go to the hydraulic system. Uh, yeah, hydraulic systems. We can fill that up as well. See again, when I click on there, you see it here, the title. The folder is open and it shows also in the course tab. Still in breaks here, so that saves me some time. I can do some brake fluid here. I think brake lines fit in there well as well. Can also do maybe the uh, brake booster. And let's see where we can find our. So you have a little bit more problem than you have. Let's see here. The master cylinder will fit in there as well. Might be helpful for you when you're creating actually um, those courses. If you want to see how a lesson module looks like, you can always click on there and start module. Right, so just a quick reminder. All right, let's go back to our courses here. 
And you see we populated here, I think with almost nine or 10 lessons in there. When we go one layer back using our breadcrumb here on the top, yeah, we have 10 lesson modules and the total duration will be two hours and 21. Okay, let's go here to the disc breaks. You can do the same thing. I won't, I will just do two others. <laughs> I think you get the hang of it now, right? So you can do some break pads here. Break pad quiz. Disc breaks. I think they, have, they also have some rotor exercises to measure the rotor. Okay. All right. Uh, maybe friction that would be a good one. And let's click on here again. The course step you see here. Enter six again. See, it's a total duration of one hour of 15 minutes. If I go one layer back, I can see the total duration of this course now. So you see here, Elected Academy Hydraulic Brake Systems, totally 22 modules with total duration of five hours and 49 minutes. So this is, a, this is an estimate of the time the students will, uh, will take. So we got like an average, uh, what, uh, what students normally uh, yeah, how long it takes for a student to go through those lessons or the quiz. And that's all calculated and elected. And this is an average time a student will take on those lessons. Okay. And um, the next thing I want to show you is like uh, we're going to hand out those courses to the students. And then when we hand them out, I want to show you how to use the course logs. So you can only uh, lock the sub courses and I want to show you how that works. All right, so let's click here on the self-made tab again. I'm going to the students group. I'll assign us to the demo group one. So you have like only three students in here, but still works, right? You see already I assigned some things, but let's assign their self-made courses to the demo group. So I'll drag it over. Same way we did the lesson module. So left mouse click, drag it over and see no sign disappears when we're over this um, tab here on the top of your screen. When we go back to the students tab, you see we just assigned our self-made course. You see also that we have already a little bit of progress here. So one of the students already worked on those courses. And I have a good guess which student that will be. <laughs> um, so let's click here on the course. So now you see here on the top, I just opened the uh, course. And you see here also group content from Elected Academy Hydraulic Brake Systems. The next thing I want to show you is like, okay, how can we actually lock or unlock those courses? So to lock or unlock, we cannot uh, lock or unlock the whole course. So I cannot lock the whole course and your repair. I have to go in that course. So I click at that course and then I'm only locking or unlocking the sub courses. So I can click on here on that sub course and I can lock it with that padlock. So when we go one layer back, you see that course is now locked. You can also do that with the a general engine mechanical theory. Click here on the path lock. I can also use unlock for a period, and this is really helpful, um, especially with remote teaching, right? So you give them a time period where they can work in. So let's say you want to say to your students, you the start date will be today. And I'm going to close it next week, Tuesday. So by 12 o'clock at night, it will be closed. Say OK. You see it's now open, but it will close later on. 
So I go one layer back here, you see here it says also in the title, unlocked from 5.11.21 to 5.18.21. You even have the opportunity now also to lock the whole thing. So when I go back to my demo group, you see here this one is locked as well. All right. Um, let's do this also for example for the, with the hydraulic brake systems so that this brakes in this cage you can unlock it for a period so let's say next monday to the monday after you see currently it's locked but it will open up next monday all right. So this is how you can set course logs. And yeah, again, they are super helpful, those course logs. Um, I think we just changed here in Electo that you can also um, change if I log the main courses. So that's also good to know. So if you click on demo group one, we logged uh, the Electo Academy and engine repair here. So um, yeah. That's also a nice new feature we have. All right, so the next thing I want to show you uh, are um, where can you find actually your DIY tool um, and what can you do with it? So let's navigate here to our module step here for um, starting a DIY tool. Now I already told a little bit, um, if you see a plus, you can create something in an electrode, and it's the same thing on our modules. So if you want to create your own DIY tool, you can do that under any of those subject areas. So you could do it on a chassis, you can do it under brakes if you would like to. Use the plus. I like it sometimes to do it under others, so it's more organized and it stays out of the rest of the system for your other teachers. Um, so you can more, it's easier for you to say it's a self-made one or not. So I'm gonna go to default. And in case if you have AZ content areas, you have the same folder here, the others folder. Click here on the plus sign. You can select the type. So you can create some, uh, your own test. You can create your own task. You can um, change the simulator. Basically when you use the simulator, um, you can, we have like a simulator in our system, like an engine management simulator with I think over 60 faults in there. And you can basically change the fault uh, setting. It's more like rewriting the work order for those faults. You can upload files, you can upload videos in our, and uh, yeah, you can also link something. For today, I will show you how the lesson works. And let's say you want a more hands-on lesson in here. You want to uh, show your students how actually to change a brake caliper. You can do that. Say a level. You have the feature here for teachers only. Um, I don't see why it's really useful because, like, if you don't assign it to your student, uh, students they don't, can actually not see it. But this might be helpful if you want to share grades with other teachers. And you say add, and automatically this screen will pop up. You can select a picture out of your system if you like to here to. Um, yeah, so the student can actually see what it's about. I already uploaded some pictures in the system. You can use your upload button for here. You have to double click on that picture. Thought this Brembo at Calpo was cool because Brembo is faster, right? No. <laughs> All right, so yeah, students love that, those color gray calpers. Um, what I want to do now is like if you want to change the name of the lesson, you can always use the pencil here. Let's say you want more captive letters or something. You 
if you want to erase it, you can always use the X, but if you want to work on the lesson, like you want to change something in a lesson module, you can use the edit module. So now we're basically in the DIY tool. So you probably recognize this, right? So this is a, a blank sheet from uh, how our lessons normally look like. So this left side is normally where you, you can see an illustration. You're on the right top is the page where you describe a little bit about the illustration or you tell them like, uh, yeah, what requirements the test has. And here are the questions here in the yellow area. So to edit something here in the illustration area, you want to use the tools here on the left side of your screen. Um, if you want to add something here on the page side, you want to use the tools here on the top. So it's like the plus one, it's like you can create another page. If you want to have more questions, you can use here the plus. I'm going to start today here with the illustration side, so you can actually use one of our illustrations in Electude by clicking here on the building block here. And we want to look for the break caliper. Um, if it's hard to find your lesson module, you can also use um, Control F or Command F on an Apple computer, so Control F on the Windows. And you see like there's a search feature here. And you see here highlighted, we have break caliper. So this basically opens up the lesson from break caliper uh, in Electude. I can scroll through the pictures here. It actually also works, so that's pretty cool. Say OK. You see automatically that uh, illustration will be included here in your lesson. You can um, say some text. You can um, ask also questions here. The first answer here in this uh, multiple question has to be the right one. Of course, when a student looks at this lesson, this will be randomized. You can also uh, give them some feedback uh, to give a hint or something in here if it's an incorrect answer, but you don't have to fill out anything. I want to make you aware of uh, how important the save feature is. You see here an old school floppy disk. Um, probably people who are my age know still what it is, but if you're a little bit younger, uh, probably not. And you can here save the lesson. Uh, I would recommend actually saving it every time you put a new like page or a new question in there. Um, this has to do like the lesson can have a timeout. So let's say you work uh, a little bit longer on the lesson and you have to go to the restroom and suddenly, uh, yeah, I like to, it has a timeout in the system. Um, they do that to not overload, to overload the system, um, but the timeout can be really annoying because your uh, work can be, uh, yeah won't be saved so you have to save it with a save feature they didn't build in the auto save feature in elected and it has to do more like uh, when developers work on it they don't always prefer that feature so if you have developers working on uh, creating their own lessons it can be sometimes annoying when everything gets auto saved so that's why they didn't do that all right so if we want to create a new page we can use here the plus on the top you see now we have two pages. We want to create a new question. We can use the plus here on the bottom. So now we have two question pages here. And the first page was about this question here, remember? So we have only one question here. We can create also another question. You see automatically the illustration will come over. We can also change the illustration here. Uh, we can use another one from the system. Say for example, and we can also use a different format uh, of questioning by using here the small wrench tool. So that's the question property tool. 
And um, I will go more into this uh, in the, into the webinar uh, from the DIY tool. So this is just an example. So the multiple response means like there can be uh, multiple right or wrong answers. See here, a number of answers, make even four correct answers, two. So you have like multiple response here. All right. Don't forget to save here. Uh, this is a little bit how it works. And if you go out of here, out of this DIY tool, uh, you want to use the go back button after you save that with the floppy disk. Other nice features are you can also include uh, a web page or uh, a movie. So that's with this one here. So you can do a YouTube movie. You can also upload videos into our system and uh, make a link in with that. You can upload your own uh, pictures if you want to. So, for example, if you have your own picture, you can put it in here. If you want to use the upload button here. See, so make sure they are big enough. So, this is not a good example. So you see the first two ones are the right ones and the second two ones are the wrong ones. So let's save this. Let's go out of here. And then uh, you don't want to forget, every time you go out of here, you want to publish the copy. And this means you actually uh, put it live. So uh, don't bother with the last, those edit module and edit last saved copy. Always use the publish copy when you exit the DIY tool. And if you want to try the DIY tool, you can use the start, start module. All right, and then I see here, oh, we didn't put any questions in here, so it's always good to uh, test your module before you hand it out to the students. You can also make this as a favorite here, so I use the heart here. Not a really cool thing, right? That's <laughs> automotive. But you can find it back now here under favorites. I could actually assign it now to the disk break course here. So let's click on courses. I like to take on me hydraulic brisks. Let's click on disk breaks. Now we can move that over here. And you see we have our DIY lesson under here. All right. Let's see our demo group. I personally really like to put myself in as a student in the demo group so I can actually see how it looks like from the student's viewpoint. See it's unlocked. Let's unlock it for today. So we can actually see how it looks like for a student. So you can put yourself like really easy in that group as a student. If you need an extra counter because of that, like you bought a product and you, uh, you bought it for 30 students, the product, um, as your um, reseller, or you can like put in an extra counter so you can put yourself in as a student as well. So I did that here, um, put myself in there as a student so I can actually see how those things look like from student perspective. So let's log out as a teacher and log in as a student here really quick and we put it on their content of the demo group one you see here the elected academy engine repair is now locked but the hydraulic brake system is open 
We can even go into our own lesson module we created here. You see here the nice um, illustration comes up as well. We picked the Brembo one. You see the questions are randomized, randomized again. <laughs> All right. Oh no. There we go. All right. So, well, we're to the end of our webinar. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, if you want more help, you can always. Uh, ask us questions or cust uh, contact customer service here on the support tab by creating a ticket under here. You can also use the question mark here. So this will describe again how to create a course. So it's like an interactive manual, this question mark. So under modules, it will show you more how to um, organize those modules and how to, um, yeah, build your own module here with the DIY test. Again, under courses, it will show you how to build a course, etc. And then under our web page, if you click on support, you will find more support. And under webinars, you can find more recorded webinars. We have a currently a QA session on Wednesdays, so that might be good to look into. And then the webinars on demand here, we have a list with all our recorded, pre recorded webinars as well. All right. Well, have a good day, and we hope to see you again. All right. Bye.